My friends, welcome back. I hope you are delighted, just like me, of this beautiful music in the background, David Lastra. Beautiful spiritual music for every soul, indeed. I'm gonna post again something, uh, a video that we're gonna watch together and react together to and comment on it as well. Video of uh, Jonathan. Not a very new video, but I'm not sure how many of you saw it. It's a video that he has done, a uh, discussion with uh, Jonathan's friend, as he called him and the president of Holy Cross Family Ministries, Father Willie Raymond. Obviously, uh, Jonathan is helping all these uh, organizations that are trying to make a difference in this world. Organization that you can support, uh, regardless of your denomination or color, when uh, there is something uh, about caring for other people, Let's see beyond uh, a certain denomination. Let's see the, the advice of the Lord from Matthew 25 and 44. Every time you do something for this, less insignificant brothers and sisters of mine, you do for me. Imagine when you do something for those that cannot do for themselves, those vulnerable elders, uh, unborn, <laughs> very young children, children, you do for Jesus himself. You make a difference and we are called to make a difference. That's Christianity. Christianity is not just a uh, letter, uh, just um, theology, but it's a Christian living. St. Francis used to say, uh, preach the gospel and if you must open your mouth as well. So let's do that. Let's preach the gospel first and foremost with our lives. Let's see this video and uh, we'll comment some more afterwards. So, three, two, one, go. Hello. All right. I always like to wave to the first person who's on line. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to um, another quasi spontaneous session of um, chat and prayer. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, jumping on today for um, uh, a lovely little event, a lovely opportunity to sit down with Father Willie Raymond, who is a, a longtime friend of mine um, and head of Holy Cross Family Ministries, and I'm going to let him tell you about what that entails so that I don't butcher his mission title uh, or uh, a description. Um, but we're going to be doing um, a little chat just in a minute here. And as soon as I see if he is on there, let's we'll see. Ah, okay, cool. He's ready to go. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be chatting in just a minute um, about a bunch of stuff, including um, his ministry, um, his mission, um, how he got started, how his ministry was started, and who started it, uh, specifically as it relates to a very famous Catholic priest by the name of um, Father Patrick Payton, who was an Irish priest uh, who came to America a long time ago and um, pretty much revolutionized uh, culture in its approach to public prayer in a way that, uh, that um, Father Willie will be able to get into detail. I'm excited. Um, there's a documentary coming out next month, uh, October 9th, called Pray, the story of Father Patrick Payton. Uh, I got to see it. Um, it's because I got to see it that Father Willie and I are having this chat today. It's an extraordinary film. 
His story is extraordinary. I can't wait for you guys to see it, especially those who have come to uh, develop uh, a rhythm and a habit of prayer, uh, especially regarding the rosary, and especially those of you who uh, didn't grow up praying the rosary uh, or never prayed rosary up until quarantine when you joined me in being introduced to it for the first time. Um, and for myself, uh, praying the rosary throughout quarantine has uh, is, has has further developed uh, my walk with Christ and the Holy Family and the Blessed Mother, and given me a much deeper appreciation of the the power of prayer, the power of the Rosary, um, especially learning about saints like Saint Padre Pio, and how he says that uh, the greatest spiritual weapon we have is the Rosary. Um, some of you have asked about my cousin Ray. Thank God, uh, I spoke to Ray. He sounds in really good spirits, really high spirits. He he uh, he had two surgeries uh, recently, and he's recovering. And I I, uh, I ask you for your continued prayers for his um, recovery from his uh, horrific motorcycle accident. Um, and uh, but he's doing good. He's doing good. So thank you for your prayers. They have helped. He was so appreciative and moved by the the outpouring. And responses and the uh, several thousand people that uh, stuck around and watched the uh, the rosary that we did for him and for our friend um, Kimberly as well who lost her home in the fires in San Diego who made the rosary that uh, I'm going to use today in praying the rosary luxury rosaries by Kimberly so we pray for her as well but thank you for asking about um, my cousin Ray and his family is, is so grateful uh, to you as well so let me not stall any longer. I want to have uh, a good amount of time here with Father Willie. Go live with... And hopefully... Oh, my headphones. I'll put these on. <coughs> do, 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 do. Hope you can hear me. There he is. Hello, Father <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Good to see you in person. Good to see you, too. It's been a long time. Yes, we've traded emails over the last year or two years um, from before yes. The Chosen started filming. Uh, but I haven't mm. seen you in person uh, in a long while. How are you doing? You look great. I'm doing well. Uh, I miss uh, being on the, on the, uh, the left coast. Uh, in Santa Monica <laughs> and Hollywood. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, uh, we miss you I here. Mean, <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's nice being in New England, too. It's, you know, coming from California is so green here. Everything is mm. green, the trees and the lawns and all of that. So it, that's, that's one benefit. Uh, and uh, we've been keeping uh, people in California in prayer, especially during the pandemic, but also the, the fires, too. Thank so, you. It's yeah, it's been add. pretty, pretty devastating. I want to ask you, I want to see more of your pretty. Just come a little closer to it. That way you fill up more of the frame. Okay, can you see me? I can see you. I just want you to just get a little closer to the camera. Okay. That way you take up more. There we go. There okay, we go. good. It's a handsome man right there, folks. Am I, am I right? You could have been an actor. <laughs> Did you ever act? Were, were you ever a performer at all? Uh, no, only by oh, okay. <laughs> at, when I was in uh, high school, only at Hamlet. 12, Twelve Angry Men, yeah. <laughs> Twelve Angry Men, okay, very good. Yes. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the comments so we can see each other clearly and uh, it doesn't interrupt the feed. I think. Okay, somebody said it was buffering. Um, actually, let me just make sure. Can everybody? here okay I, I think we can if there are um if there are any issues with audio please let me know and if not i will continue to <laughs> you know you just don't know you sometimes see. i'll get <laughs> texts be like hey i'm like why are they texting me uh, oh because nobody can hear me you know our friend megan harrington just said something like this <laughs> Can the can the internet handle these two dynamos at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> You're a dynamo, but I'm <laughs> oh man, I, I pale in comparison. Okay, all right. So it looks like we're good to go. Um, so thank you for taking the time to to sit down with me. I'm so excited to chat 
Uh, it's it was a fun excuse to get to see you, and um, uh, and and to talk about uh, your mission, your ministry, and this extraordinary film, which essentially is, I believe, the origins of the the ministry that you're currently involved with. So, sure. um, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you came from, and uh, how you ended up here. Sure, sure. Uh, be- just before doing that, though, I just want to say that. Uh, Friends of mine have introduced me to The Chosen and we've been watching it faithfully. And I feel like I've been oh. in touch with you now because uh, uh, it's always nice to know another Jesus. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so you've seen it. You've seen, you've got I have, it. yes. Oh, I, wonderful. I really, I love it. I, I just, uh, you know, I could go on and on about, but I, I it's so uh, welcoming and the character development and uh, certainly your, your uh, person is at the heart of it. And uh, but I love what they've done with uh, Nicodemus and uh, with Matthew and all the other yeah. Peter and Peter and Andrew. It's, so there's it's some great. fan favorites there. Well, thank you. I'm yeah. so glad you got a chance to see it. And uh, and um, and mm-hmm. and thank you for uh, you know Father Dave Guffey, who's now head of and you'll get into this uh, head of yeah. the national director of uh, uh, Family Theater Productions mm-hmm. is one of our biblical consultants. So it's been such a yes. nice sort of. Uh, very uh, kind of it feels random, but I know nothing is random in in, in God's world and God's you know time and, and um, His process. So uh, I, I love that that connects us as well. Um, and actually, why don't we, if we, if you don't mind, before we get into the conversation, where are my manners? Could you lead us sure. maybe in a prayer to kick things off? Yeah, I would love to. In the name of the Father uh, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for. All of your blessings today. We thank you, especially for the the gift of um, Jonathan, of all the all the people who are joining on this Instagram uh, segment, and um, thank you for the greatest gift that you've given us, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and He entrusted to us and us to her care, His own mother. So we thank you, especially for that this day, and. We ask God that you would continue to bless us, bless Jonathan, bless all those who are joining us in this small conversation today. And um, we and ask and and uh, you know, uh, ask you, Lord, that you would, uh, if it's your will, uh, make uh, Patrick Payton, who is venerable now, uh, make him uh, a saint for family prayer. He's this great figure that I'm just longing to. Uh, share a few thoughts with you about just from personal experience and also from um, what what I know from others have said about him too. So, Lord, thank you. We pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Great. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father. That's awesome. You're welcome. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about how you got here. Sure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm from the great state of Maine and grew up in a family of uh, French-Canadian descendants. Uh, and uh, our family spoke French and English, uh, mostly French at the beginning. And so we prayed the rosary. We had 12 children in the family, too, so wow. it was a crowded house. <laughs> and we, uh, in any one case, one for every I, apostle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> and and uh, uh, God only knows how I got how I got uh, here because uh, we're a very poor family, and mm. we um, uh, when uh, actually um, our pastor, uh, our parish was the center of our lives spiritually, socially, and. Um, in in uh, this Catholic grade school that I went to, St. Joseph's, the pastor said that uh, the... Uh-oh. Oh. Did we lose you? Father, can you hear me? You're stuck on my end. Um, <laughs> one second. Um, anybody else? Oh, oh, okay. So we lost them for a moment. 
We will get him back. Okay. We will get him back. Father Willie, where'd you go? All right, we lost you, but we got okay. you back there. All right. <laughs> okay, let's uh, gonna let's pray on that Wi-Fi. Uh, St. Yeah. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls, as well as ruining Amen. internet connections. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. All right. Just cast. to answer your question okay. uh, more briefly, I ended up uh, going to uh, a Holy Cross uh, University in New Brunswick, Canada, and mm. on a on a scholarship, and and then um, uh, entered uh, Holy Cross uh, back here, right where I am now, in 1964 as a junior wow. in college, and um, and actually that's when I first met Father Peyton too, because. At that time, 64, he was, he would have been in his uh, middle 50s. And uh, he was, um, at that time, at the peak of his effectiveness. The height of his ministry, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he um, was uh, leading these rosary rallies in Sao Paulo, Brazil, some of them with 2 million people. I'm going to uh, show a picture right there. So my face is blocking where Patrick Payton, Father Payton, uh, is standing. Yeah. He's but right I don't know what. <laughs> do you know what city that is? You know, I think uh, I'm not sure. I think it's Sao Paulo. Okay. Yeah. There... So he's standing right to the right there mm -hmm. uh, with the microphones, and then you just, as far as the eye can see, there's just people. Yes. It's, it's pretty incredible. Down, it shut down this great metropolis, and and. You know, we, we know that he had these rallies all around the world and, and he spoke to live in person to more than 28 people. So just to back up a little. 28 million? 20, uh, um, yeah, 28 million. <laughs> I was going to say 28 people. I think you might have bested that number. But 28 oh. <laughs> million is a whole other ballgame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, right there, that's, that's I mean, there's. Uh, there's got to be several hundred thousand just in view of this sure. in that photo right there. But yeah, 28 million people. Mm. That's incredible. And uh, live and in person. And then he reached many millions more through the medium of radio and, and television and film. Uh, and he, um, I, I would say he did two remarkable things in his life. Uh, uh, and, and uh, one one was to reach uh, people all around the world, even in a place like Bombay. He, he had a rosary rally there and Cardinal Gracious at the time said, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea because there are very few Christians here. And he said, no, mm. we, let's do it. And, and they had a huge rally there. And most wow. of the people that came were Muslims and, and Hindus and Sikhs. Wow. And so, uh, and and a good number of Christians too, but you know they're only about three percent of the population in in India. But he came away from there saying the people of India are just naturally spiritual; they're naturally in touch with God, and mm -hmm. so uh, he had this large heartedness about him as well. But he, um, I, I just wanted to back up for a moment. He was born in Ireland in 1909. The, the sixth of nine children, very poor family. They had a dirt floor. They, the father was sickly, John, and mm -hmm. his wife, Mary. And they, they promised on the day they were married that they would pray the rosary as a family every day of their lives. And they did that. Wow. And, and that's where Father Peyton says, I, I got everything I needed in my family home said we were materially poor, but we were spiritually rich. Amen. And he said, it, my home was, was, um, was like a university, a library, a, a resource for, excuse me, <coughs> for all of, the, all of the things that I needed to learn the essential, the essential values and virtues in life. And so he's, he always went back to uh, praying the rosary every night after supper with his family, his father leading them in the rosary and his mother calling them together. And 
and and praying and he said that that's the foundation upon which his whole life was built so the rosary was a very powerful instrument in wow. in their lives and that was true of many families at the time so, so you met him as a junior in college yes when i was a junior in college he was at the height of his of his ministry and he um uh, here's the scene i he he uh he would he would visit us often because we were all in the same eastern province of holy cross at the time mm -hmm. and so twice a year we would have retreats uh at, at king's college in the winter and then stonehill college in the in the summer and we would all gather as long as we could and he would be there most of the time not always because he'd be traveling around the world too right but the first time i met him he he came uh, to the seminary to visit and to talk to us. And one of my friends uh, in the seminary in those days, uh, someone would be uh, designated as a barber, whether you had any talent at all as a barber or not. So, and and my friend <laughs> Hugh Cleary was the barber. So and he knew all about Father Peyton much more than I did. And uh, and uh, so we listened to him while while he was getting his hair cut. And and after he left. Hugh Cleary said, uh, I'm going to sweep up uh, all these hair clippings and I'm saving them because this man is going to be a saint someday. Whoa. So we knew back then that he really, he was a number one, he's basically a shy, reserved man, a big yeah. guy, 6'2", 6'3", and, and um, loved uh, a good meal. And <laughs> he... he, he uh, uh, he he was uh, very sincere, gentle. Whenever you met him, he would um, often have a rosary in his in his hand. But he, he would always I don't know if you can see this, but he he would um, as he grabbed your your hand, he would trace the sign of the cross oh, wow. right here between your thumb and your forefinger. Wow! And it's a it's a great it's a great blessing to have received from him. So. That's in any case, uh, the, the, the one time I heard him tell his whole story was at the end of his life. Uh, he celebrated his Golden Jubilee and, uh, in 1991, and then he died in 1992 in mm. June. So this was a year before he died. Uh, he was celebrating his Golden Jubilee at a mass. There was a younger priest who was celebrating 25 years. So they agreed that the young priest would preach and he would preside at the mass and say a few words at the end of mass. Uh, so at the end of, at, before the final blessing, he uh, invited everybody to sit down for a moment and he went on for 45 minutes and he told his whole, <laughs> his whole story. And just a few words, if I may. The food was getting cold, but the place words. was jam-packed too with I people. Bet. And uh, we, um, uh, so he, he told us, especially moving was his relationship with Mary. And, and he said uh, it began back home and uh, he wanted to be a priest, but he and he wrote to all these missionary societies, but they were so poor they could not afford to pay any of the fees for books mm. and all that. So he was rejected time after time, wow. and so he got angry. He kind of he gave up on that, and he um, and and he was a, a a bit troubled in school too. He had a, a disagreement with one teacher, and so he left school and he um, he came. Um, um, uh, he he, um, he came to the States at the age of, I think he was uh, in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a brother, uh, Tom, came with him. They went to Scranton, Pennsylvania, where several sisters, older sisters, had preceded them. And and there he thought, well, you know, maybe I'll be a millionaire because the streets of, of uh, America are paved with Lined gold. With gold and, yeah. Yeah. So he... Uh, uh, but he realized he had a, he couldn't get a job. The only job he could get was as a as a custodian and sacristan in, in the in the cathedral. Uh, so there he said his dream of becoming a priest was revived, and mm. and uh, he was invited to come to the seminary at the University of Notre Dame. He did that. He had to he had to make up what was lacking in his high school education. Then he went on through to get a BA in philosophy at the University of Notre Dame. He graduated magna cum laude. And then he um, uh, went on to study theology at, in Washington in graduate school. And halfway through, he's very close to his goal of becoming a priest. Uh, one day he coughed up blood and, and um, he, he kept it a secret 
but eventually it got so bad that he could no he could not keep it a secret anymore. They brought him to the emergency room and they thought he might die that night and but he survived and the doctors uh, who were examining him said you unfortunately have a, an advanced case of tuberculosis and oh, wow. we think you have between two and four months to live it's oh my gosh it's very it's very serious and they said we've tried we've done everything we can so you should try prayer and he was sent back to notre dame to the infirmary and preparing to die and 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 his a remarkable uh, uh, encounter that he told us about. He said, Father Cornelius Haggerty, an Irish immigrant like himself, older, uh, came into his sick room and, and said, Patrick, you uh, have been given a gift of faith by your parents, especially your mother, and you should call upon that faith. And you should remember that Mary is alive and she will be as good to you as you think she will be. And, and, and he said, um, Mary uh, is alive and, and uh, you should pray to her that if it's God's will, you'll be healed. And he said, remember this, Mary is God, the mother of God. He never says no to his mother. Right. So he, he got, he got the plan. He got the, they all got to pray in the rosary and the doctors really could not believe it. He, it was very difficult to persuade them that he was uh, he was better but gradually day by day he did get better and and eventually they signed a document saying that he was strong enough to re resume his studies so he and his brother Tom were ordained on the same day in June the 15th in 1941. Wow and, and how long was that process of healing from the time he started praying? It was I think was about raised? 18 months. Wow. He, wow. he was, so it, was a, was, it wasn't an overnight miracle. It was a gradual no, miracle. No, no. He said, I'm, ta I'm not talking about a miracle. He said, I'm talking about the, the quiet, gentle way that Mary works. But day mm. by day, I got better and stronger and stronger. And wow. so in that first year, he, he founded uh, the Family Rosary Movement. He started writing to bishops and, and they responded. And he said, I have a goal of getting 10 million American families to pray the rosary. Wow. And that was that was his goal, and he far exceeded that over over the years. Oh, yeah. And that's forty two in nineteen forty seven. He was in Hollywood already, and and there he uh, he enlisted a lot of A list uh, stars from the time: Loretta Young, Gregory Peck, uh, uh, Raymond Burr, people like that who who uh, uh, who supported his projects. Princess Grace was was mm -hmm. one of the great supporters. Marino era. The um, and and I have to tell you, Maureen O'Hara is someone I got to know a little bit. God rest her. She she wow. lived to be ninety five years old. Wow, uh, but she uh, I, I I called her because we had a film competition. Angelus, you might remember the Angelus Student yes, Film Festival. Absolutely. Uh, so she was. Uh, we, we had we had decided to ask her to be the honorary chair. So I called her and I called her at ten o'clock in the morning, and I thought. I had her secretary's number, but it was actually her own cell phone number. So <laughs> she um, she answered the phone, and I said, uh, "Is is this uh, is this Miss O'Sullivan?" And she said, "There's nobody here by that name." And she hung up the phone. <laughs> on me, so, and I said, uh, "Well, uh, I called her right back, and I said, 'I'm I'm sorry, Miss O'Hara. The uh, we have a young priest O'Sullivan staying with us, and I just it just came out of me without thinking." And she said, well, it was a big mistake because uh, Maureen O'Sullivan was someone that uh, that none of us liked. And she was a, oh. a competitor in Hollywood. So, oh, funny. And, and, uh, and she said, uh, so and she, she said, uh, so what are you calling for? And I explained what I was calling for. And she said, oh, this is with your father Peyton's uh, friend. Well, uh, let me tell you about father Peyton. When I came, when he came to Hollywood, she said this, here's this young Irish priest who knows nothing about Hollywood and he's asking me to get on his radio program and <laughs> so I said no to him and, and and she said then he knelt down and started he started praying the Hail Marys and and tears are running down his cheeks and she said so um, I my heart melted and I 
I agreed to be on his programs. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So he just, literally just, just, he just had no fear and just said, I'm going to go no. and talk to these people. I'm going to ask them to be a part of his prayer ministry. You know, it's amazing because someone who is just, uh, we would say he's an introvert today, mm-hmm. but, but he, he also had a boldness about him. He, yeah. he, um, um, when he, when he uh, got up to tell his personal story, you could have a million people there and they would be riveted uh, by his sincerity and, and the authenticity, the honesty of, of him and, the, and the, the way in which God's um, uh, transcendent power and Mary's presence were palpable, were very real. So mm. to be at one of those events was, um, was a life-changing experience. Yeah, and uh, you know you, you've seen Prey, I believe. So yeah, I have seen the film, the... and I've been telling um, a lot of the uh, the fans and followers of my own of the Chosen about uh, how excited I am for them to actually see the movies. Well, there's a lot of um, a lot of the fans of the Chosen and a lot of the folks that follow me here on social media are non-Catholics, um, mm. but throughout quarantine. Uh, a number of them, I had started praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet and then the Rosary. And a lot of people had never heard of either of those devotions. And there is a lot of misconceptions about the rosary and what it means and why we have intercessory prayer. And, and mm. um, I, in, in my very, very extremely humble layman's terms, I've, I've done the best I can to, um, <laughs> to at least br- break down some of those myths and misconceptions and, and, um, and point out the biblical, the, the scriptural um, uh, references and and structure for for which the rosary is centered around and mm-hmm. and at the end of the day father and you can maybe back me up on this like especially for those who maybe that are watching that are not catholic um that there uh there is there's comfort in the rosary and that it's eventually it's all leading to jesus the prayer is to christ right that's right that's the 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 whole purpose of the rosary is to bring us to Jesus and to look at his life thoroughly and encounter him through, uh, we're looking at his life through the eyes of Mary, who is the one who knew him the best in this world and who loved him the most. I, I'm absolutely positive of that. And, and she's the one that takes us by the hand in the rosary and leads us into that encounter with our Lord. Uh, certainly, the child in the womb, uh, you know, and, and uh, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and, and the child who at his approach, uh, John the Baptist, also in the womb, leaps for joy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all in the scriptures. And, and that's um, Pope John Paul in, in 2002, when he came out with his uh, letter on the rosary, his apostolic letter, he, he said it is, it is, uh, it, it is a scripture-centered prayer, and it is he. And he always said, "This is my favorite prayer." Mm. It is. It is a powerful, a powerful way of encountering our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and I know, and, and I'll just ask you one brief question because I want to make sure we have enough time to to go through the whole rosary. Um, so, for those who might be asking themselves again, who maybe maybe non-Catholics, like. Well, why, why would we, why do we have to go through Mary? Can't we just pray to Jesus directly, mm-hmm. for, especially when it comes to the rosary? What, what do you tell people that have that question? Sure. Well, you, yeah, you can, you can always pray directly to God, the Father, to God, the Holy Spirit, to Jesus. Uh, at, the, at the foot of the cross, uh, our Lord Jesus, in the last moments of his life, entrusted his mother to us and to the beloved disciple that who is unnamed and and entrusts all of us to her care so uh, he is um, he is making sure that that in addition to the father and god the son and the holy spirit we we also have mary as our mother mother of all the ch- all all of humanity and mm-hmm. and certainly all of all all baptized christians so uh, whether we recognize it or not, it's real, and yeah. and she is our mother, and she cares about us, and and wants nothing more than for us to meet her son and to spend eternity with with him and with the Holy Trinity. 
So I couldn't have put it more right. beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why don't we spend some time with him through her by praying the rosary? Would you care sure. to lead it for us? I would be glad to. Uh, awesome. So for those who uh, have rosary beads, now is the time to get it out. And I have to tell you, Father, there are so many folks, non-Catholics, uh, that have grown so fond of the rosary. Uh, I would get messages saying, hey, I'm a Southern Baptist. I just got my first set of rosary beads. Yeah, you know, and I was like so excited to hear that people have been um, so open-minded. And, and my whole approach in prayer has been unity through community, you know, and being bold and being humble and leading with love to unite the, the body, the fractured body sure. of Christ in its denominations. Um, yeah. And really just, um, again, supporting the fact that uh, it's all about Jesus at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the many, in addition to spontaneous uh, individual prayer, this is one of the, the many ways to strengthen your faith and, and have that relationship with Christ borne out in your own lives. Yes, it's, uh, it's well said, beautiful Jonathan. And it's... Uh, Father Peyton was always uh, encouraging. There was a, a Reverend Neville, uh, who was a Presbyterian, I believe, who was a great friend of his, and he prayed the Rosary faithfully. And uh, I think I think Rick Warren prays the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Yes. Have you heard that? I just heard that recently. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Somebody had told me that as well. That he's a huge fan of the Divine Mercy. Chaplet. I would just say one thing about about the repetitive, because people will say, "Well, why why?" this repetitive prayer mm -hmm. and and um Fulton Sheen when he was in Washington he used to who was a bishop classes. for those who don't know right He's right bishop. yeah, yeah. And, and a great figure on t on on uh, television in the right. 40s and 50s he uh, but he, sometimes he would have 300 400 uh, young people at uh, in Washington who all wanted to become Catholic and so he would he would uh, lead classes on that and he his uh, his class on the rosary was um you know as we were just talking about it that it's that it's uh allowing mary to take you to meet her son and and uh right after that class this young couple came to him this woman this young woman who was um uh in the class and planning to become a catholic at the end of that she said um father sheen at the time um, I, I was planning to become a Catholic, but but you're talking about the Rosary, and I just don't, I can't, I can't proceed with becoming a Catholic because I just don't believe in repeating the same prayers over and over again. It's like the pagans do, and and um, and he said, "Well, who who's this uh, this young man with you?" She said, uh, "He's my fiance," and he said, hey, "Do you?" Uh, uh, does he love you? And and she said, of course. We're get, we're we're planning to get married. And and uh, and he said, how do you know that he loves you? And she said, well, he tells me. And and so Father Sheen said, well, how, has has he told you more than once? And she said, yeah, he tells me all the time, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> And then without any words after that, I, he, she realized, oh, I know what you're oh, saying. Oh, <laughs> I see where you, I see what you did there, <laughs> Father Fulton Jean. Yeah, amazing. Awesome. Great. Well, I want to say before so, we start, if for some reason, um, we, because I think there's a limit on Instagram's time and it cuts us off. Oh. If for some reason we should get cut off, everybody out there, we're going to continue finish saying the rosary no matter where we are. If you don't have beads, you've got fingers. You can count okay. on those and, and keep track on those. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. Uh, and But hopefully we'll get the whole thing in here before the video ends. Okay. Uh, so. I won't interrupt you anymore. No, okay. that's okay. That's okay. This in the is name lovely. Of the I Father. wish we had more time. In the name of the <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Amen. His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, went to hell, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in, the in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Holy Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray for an increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of Amen. grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for, for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Amen. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, was now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of <laughs> grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana in Galilee. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Uh, the great, great uh, theologian Romano Guadini said, To linger in the domain of Mary in the rosary is a divinely great thing. As we... Uh, we remain in this domain of Mary. Uh, Jonathan, if you would lead us in this next decade, which is the proclamation of the kingdom of God. The third luminous mystery, the pro proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our forgive sins, us our sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all lead souls, to, souls heaven, to heaven, especially, especially those, those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, my forgive, Jesus us our forgive us our sins, sins. save us save from us the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead, Lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially, especially those, those most in need mercy. of thy mercy. Would you carry it around us out, Father? Sure. The fifth Luminous mystery is the institution of the Holy Eucharist, just as the wedding feast at Cana, Jesus turned water into wine. The Last Supper, he turned wine into his blood for our salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
who lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, a life, a sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. We may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Father. That was beautiful. You're welcome. Pleasure praying with you. Yeah, same here. Uh, I'm trying to think of how long you've been out there for since we first met. I'm try first um, of all, I was trying to think of when we first met. And then I had to realize that I probably could only do that math if I remembered when you left. When did you go <laughs> back east? So in 2014. 2014. Wow, it's been yeah, a minute. It's hard to believe. It's six Holy years. Holy mackerel. Wow. Six years. That goes by in a blink. Mm -hmm. uh, so we met at, you were doing the, the Passion at, at um, St. Monica's? We, or, or, you know, or, uh, I didn't start the Passion at uh, St. Monica's until, until 2018. I might have been, you know where it was, I think? Faustina. It, Oh, okay. I think you came That's, to see yes. a screening of Faustina, Messenger yeah. of Divine Mercy, with, with Maria Vargo, who she Maria sends Vargo. her regards, yeah. by the way. She uh, says, hello. Uh, thank um, you. <laughs> and so she and I, I, I'm not sure if you, you wouldn't even know this, but she and I um, have started a nonprofit called the G.K. Chesterton, G.K. Chesterton Entertainment. It started as a theater company, oh. which was uh, born yes. out of the uh, the Passion Play and then taking it out of St. Monica to to present it to an ecumenical audience and taking it online. Mm -hmm. And so now we're, we're doing um, a bunch of, uh, we're uh, planning on projects that we're gonna be producing um, in the entertainment realm that uh, basically look to promote um, a positive and inspirational change in the culture and uh, telling the stories about saints and about individuals and um, uh, so that it's not, um, solely uh, the passion plays the is not the only thing that we will be working mm -hmm. on uh, each year but um yeah now i'm well now and especially with with um covid the era of covid has changed everything so there's not much yes. theater happening right now um so we've mm -hmm. had to pivot a little bit um so yeah so that's that's uh we've been connecting and working together on that uh but uh yeah that was the, so that was the first time and then i think that was just so you left maybe later 2014 mid-year yeah was it in summer the, in in the summer like okay. july the first for like the fiscal year yeah. kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah so so you you would have seen it probably earlier that spring around easter time yeah and then i had just started attending um uh prayer and pasta at uh family mm -hmm. theater and uh and that's i went to a few um events and there you with the, you you were doing the entertainment fellowship at that's uh, right separate as well. i just that's, started the entertainment fellowship it's amazing yeah. Yeah, I, so. I was so, you know, so they were telling me about about The Chosen and mm -hmm. we sat down to watch it with some of the other priests that I live with and I can't believe it. That's John. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. I know Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's great. It's great to meet another Jesus. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can never have too many Jesuses in your life. No, I you've got, you, know. <laughs> you, you, um, you know, it's... Uh, you, you've just been given, uh, you've, you've earned it, but you've also been given a, a great opportunity, I think, to share the love that you have for, for our Lord and for his mother. Oh and yeah, you're, I, you're doing I, it so well. I can tell you in 2014, I never could have predicted where I am now. I'll tell you that much. This <laughs> is not exactly how I thought I, what, what yeah. I would be doing in the entertainment field, but, uh, you know, it all, uh, it all comes down to that fiat, that, uh, that act of saying, Yes to God, yes to our Lord, yes to mm -hmm. his blessed mother, um, whenever we're asked and pushed to do something that might not necessarily um, feel comfortable at times, especially when mm -hmm. it came to praying online publicly, but uh, just being committed for several years now to just doing the will of God yeah, and, and watching great. him take that and, and just pepper my life with graces. So. You know, you're the you're like the third Jesus that I know. You're, <laughs> <laughs> there's you know, our Lord Jesus, and then yes. there's uh, Jim Caviezel too. Jim. Right? We yeah. are we running out of time? 
Uh, I, just, I think we got maybe about a minute or two, but you got, you he, got a second. You know, he, he came to Family Theater uh, back, this would be, it was 2004 because it was when the fashion was coming out. And, mm -hmm. and I was showing him around and, and uh, I said, and that's Father Peyton. And he said, what? He said, I've been here before. He said, I, I was a young actor uh, in thinking of leaving Hollywood and and he said, uh, I saw that billboard that says the family that prays together stays together. Mm -hmm. So he said, I turned into your driveway and rang the doorbell and this old priest. And it was him, Father ah, Peyton. That's and, amazing. and he said, I don't know where it came from, but I, I heard him, uh, you know, I heard myself saying, Father, would you hear my confession? And he said, oh, son, sure, come on in. And, and he said, he was tough on me because I was not leading a, a great <laughs> life at that time. And he said, uh, and, and he shared this in public too, Jim has, so. Yeah. And, and he said, uh, Father Peyton uh, heard my confession. And, and then he said, young man, you have a choice. You have to decide. You can be faithful to our Lord in Hollywood or not. Mm. And he said, but if you are faithful to our Lord, you will do important work here. Wow. And Amen so, to that. Amen great. to that. I will, I will take that as my word for the day. And okay. say thank you so much for, for your time, um, for your ministry. God bless you. God bless everybody that's over at Holy Cross Family Ministries and Family Theater. Um, and we're so grateful for Father Dave being on our consultant yeah, staff great. for The Chosen. So uh, it's just been a wonderful journey. And uh, I look forward to getting to pray with you again, uh, hopefully soon at some point in person. Maybe we can go out and do a rosary rally together. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, God Thank bless you, Father. Johnson. Take care. We'll be in touch too. soon, all right? Take Amen. care. Amen. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. That was the beautiful video with Jonathan and uh, with his um, father, the president uh, of uh, that Christian uh, organization that makes a difference. A difference. Because as I said, we are called to make a difference. If my Christian faith is just a, a declaration of love with my lips, but I never get out of my comfort zone, I never outreach with the message of the gospel, I do not make it obvious to everyone that I am a child of God. I'm a Christian undercover. Then, that says a lot about me. God bless your friends. Take care and stay close to Jesus always. Hope you enjoy the video.